On the undercard of Dylan White, Derek Chisora 2, David Price is going to be dusting off the gloves once again to entertain slash amuse slash kind of worry us again. He is fighting a, a regular sparring partner, Tom Little. And just every time David Price fights, you never know what is going to happen. He is 35 now, which isn't really the oldest, certainly not at heavyweight, but the kind of career he's already had, the six stoppage losses, and just his inability, it seems to be, to accept his deficiencies as anyone beyond British level is uh, apparent and consistently worrying, I think, to anyone with a, a bit of a heart. Now it's funny, isn't it, with first impressions? It's 2012, David Price is this really tall, big new heavyweight white as well so maybe a bit more eye-catching than the regular and he seems to be pretty trim he's got big shoulders he's bulky you've got Tyson Fury on the other side who's got all this baby fat kind of slappy with his punches and at that point at least aesthetically David Price seemed like the the golden egg out of those two and then my my how time shows us really what you know what the deal is Fury has arguably in his Last fight against Deontay Wilder proven that when he's at his best, he is the man. He might yet prove that, whereas David Price, he just never made it to world level. He lost and he, he lost to people in, in an ugly manner to people he shouldn't have. Now, after the first initial defeats to the likes of Tony Thompson, some people retrospectively tried to amend it a bit and be like, well, maybe it was a bit too soon, but it wasn't really, not for what we expected of Price and... Tony Thompson, never really a dangerous puncher. That was a, you know, it was a tactical and a, and a clever kind of fight to make at that point. The way he got dropped by the kind of punch he did in the second round, big red flag. And of course, since then, like Erkin Tepper, he's not really up to much, is he? I mean, he splattered him uh, and he's just re since retired against, was it Sergei uh, Kuzmin? Retired again. It's not just the chin, it's the stamina, it's he's stiff. Even when he was coming through at the British level and knocked out Audley Harrison in a round, if to a, a more educated eye, you were looking at Price and thinking, you know, he looks a bit stiff. He even looks hesitant when he's fully in control and he's never had a good jab, which is a real sin for somebody as tall and as rangy as him. The fact he doesn't have a good snappy jab, an assertive one, just like all kinds of faults with that big man. Now, he's saying he's doing this fight now because he wants to know what it feels like to win again. He's involved in this kind of dangerous, he's got this dangerous love affair with boxing because boxing is not very kind to him. He wants to know what it feels like to win again. He'd like to be patted on the back, but at what cost? Because Price doesn't have to fight the most dangerous guys to get tired. And when he gets tired, his arms come down and he's about as vulnerable as I've seen a heavyweight look. Probably more vulnerable than Frank Bruno used to. And when you get that vulnerable and when your chin's in the air like it was against Povetkin, it's just dangerous. You don't know how many, just a few punches away from something bad happening. As I say, six stoppages now, consistently dusted at a not particularly high level. I really think it's a time where the British Boxing Board of Control or certain people are just like, you know, look, let's see if he can pull the plug. I hope he manages to beat Tom Little. He gets that little boost again, but I hope that encourages him to basically exit from the ropes and carry on with his life rather than be encouraged. More delusions of grandeur and really get hurt.